everybody. Welcome back to another Music Wednesdays. We are here today with Foothills. How's it going, Barry? Good to see you guys again. Saw you last Saturday. I was kind of teasing. This just proves how smart I am because <laughs> we booked you guys, what, a month or so ago before Road to Nightfall even started. So uh, congratulations on uh, making the finals. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit here in a little in a little while, but uh, it's Tony, yes, Paul, Vincent, That's right. right, Foothills. Yep, good to be here. Well, let's hear a little music, and uh, then we'll get to talking a little bit, learn more about you guys. Okay, Sounds cool. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, this song's called Not Today. Leslie's joining us and Clark. Hi. Hey there. How's Hi. It going? <laughs> I hope you don't mind the extra guests. Not at all. Everyone. No problem. We've got some on our own. own. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Spring break. It's right? spring break. <laughs> it's spring break. So Paul's I'm lucky. Paul's daughter Sophie, right? Yes. Not Sophia. Sophie is here. So. Oh, cool. Whose daughter? Which That's one? That's mine. Oh, yeah. cool. Tony, Paul, Vincent from Foothills. Do you want to come say hi? 
You want to say hi? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Well, that song sounded great, and I cool. I heard you say like uh, not today. Uh huh. So spring break is is a juggle with uh, work and kids. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. Um, but but Where it's fun, and 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 I'm I'm enjoying being able to just bring them along for some stuff and let them see some of this because a lot of the stuff they don't get to see. You know? Yeah, see what you do. Where are y'all from? Which is why we do this at noon. Yeah. On Wednesday, so yeah. people out there can hear bands that they might not uh, go to a club to see or go out late and see. So yeah, glad yeah. you guys are here. Yeah, we really Happy appreciate it. So yeah, yeah, Barry sets sets these up because he's the best. So he researches more about your background. So I kind of get to learn as you guys get to learn. So where okay. are you guys from? Well, we're we're based here in Chattanooga. Oh, cool. And uh, we all live right here in town. Mm -hmm. For forever. Yeah. I wanted. to Tell I told them before, but Paul has a Songbirds hat on. And I noticed. Last Saturday at, ni at Road to Nightfall, I was standing next to Irv Brenner. Oh, cool. And I said, these guys sound like they came right down from the holler. And uh, oh. Irv looked at me with just, <laughs> just from New York. I said, you don't know what a holler is, do you? And he said, no, I have no idea. Irv. That's funny. You know, out by the creek where we put out a good spread. Yeah, he wouldn't know that yeah. either. <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't know it. Tell them they're out yonder. Oh, out yeah. yonder. It's out mm -hmm. yonder and down the, yeah. yeah. There are a lot of hollers in there. Around the bend. But <laughs> New York City. But, I mean, it was a compliment. It, it, yeah. I love the sound. It, it sounded, you, uh, that was what what I meant by it. And uh, so you guys are, as you said, from here. Yeah. Um, I'm originally from Kentucky. Um, Tony's moved around a lot. From Cookville. My wife and I just, we grew up in Cookville, but we moved here from Texas uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay. Cool. I'm, I'm from, I was born in Memphis and raised in Cleveland down the road. So. All right. Cool. How did you I'm guys all meet up? Well, Music? Uh, uh, yes and no. Vincent and I have been friends for several years and just through church. I knew his wife since I was a child. She was cool. my sister's best friend. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They go way back. So uh, we moved here seven years ago and pretty quickly fell in with them and just started doing stuff with them as friends. And uh, I had a band, another band at the time, Paul Hadfield and the McCoys. And uh, we were playing around town and stuff. And... Uh, that that came and went, and a few years went by. I'd kind of retired a little bit, so to speak. And uh, Vincent was the guy that was always in my ear saying, hey, let's play some music, let's play some music. So we started doing that, and um, then... Uh, we did that. Did we did that for what, like a year or so? For about a year, playing open mic nights, Tremont Tavern, Moxie and Ben Brewery, stuff like that. Yeah. And then we we had just to set a goal for ourselves and said, let's let's try to get into Road to Nightfall. You know, they'll just give us something to shoot for. But you got to have three people to do that. And so we started fishing around trying I'm to figure out. A necessity. <laughs> <laughs> and so by necessity, we took on Tony. No, no. <laughs> You're a contractual yeah. obligation. Contractual player. obligation. That's not true. The plan was That's was already to expand uh, the sound some. You know, we 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 played it. We'd actually played a couple of full length shows at the Feed and uh, and Cambridge Square and stuff with just the two of us. And we were ready to. Uh, you know, we knew it was either gonna re we were either gonna need a, a drummer or a percussion or, or a bass player. And we, you know, opted to go with the bass player because he he kind of fills both both roles for yeah, us. He sure. does some percussion as well. So. Cool. Oh, I want to talk about Road to Nightfall a little bit later, but... Yeah, let's hear some, hear some more music. More music? Are you ready to hear some more music? <laughs> you going to dance? No. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if this one will be a dancing song, um, but, uh, you, Barry, you requested this one, I think, from the other night. Okay. Uh, and it's called Honey, You Were Right. It's a, it's really a song about pride. That's about all I'll say about it. Well, I want to hear it because it was a great song, as you guys were here, but it was fun to see you shout out to your mom. Too. Oh. This is her favorite, yeah. right? Well, she drove 300 miles. Yeah, that's what he said from the know. stage. She drove Good to see mom. it. And, uh, Good mom. Yeah, she had requested that song. She loves it. And um, so, yeah, we just yeah. We had to do it. It's a good song. Okay. Been too long since I'd seen a field of wildflowers ringed in ancient oak trees. I tried to find my place, swaying in the breeze, but it knocked me from my pedestal, brought me to my knees. Been holding the reins too tight. I've been open with all my might. If 
If I stood my ground, you'll come to see the light. But honey, I was wrong, and you were right. Well, I went to see a preacher, said he'd like to save my soul. But he can't even see, I'm too young to look this old. Said, come back here on Sunday. I told him I would go. But I don't need him to tell me things that I already know. I've been holding the reins too tight. I've been hoping with all my mind. If I stood my ground, you'd come to see the light. But honey, I was wrong. And you were right. stuff what was uh road to nightfall like for you guys fun <laughs> yeah, it was a blast it was probably the, that was the biggest stage we've ever played on and the biggest setup you know and probably the biggest crowd and so it was it was wild and loud and uh and a lot of fun you know so we, but I, I think it helped too that we went in uh very much so with the this is a showcase more than it is a competition mindset so a lot is just be relaxed and have fun. And we knew there was a competitive element to it, trying to get votes, and we wanted to put on the best show we could. But really, it was about just saying, hey, let's celebrate local live music. And we we're excited to be able to be a part of that and take it all the way to the finals. It's interesting to hear you say that because that's exactly why it was started. Yeah. Jonathan Sussman started it. It's now run by Barrett Taylor in Gig City. But who was whole, awesome to work with. Yeah, the whole fantastic. idea was to showcase. I mean, he, yeah. Jonathan realized there's all these bands that normally just play in front of their crowd. And so this was conceived as a way to put, you know, you in front of someone else's crowd and all that. So 30 bands, 150 different musicians. Congratulations to Hive Theory. They were the yeah, winners. Yeah, so they were so good. Killer set. 800 people or so there mm -hmm. in, yeah, in uh, the Signal, which oh, is cool. new. Yeah, oh, that's the very cool. Bands, the the see local yeah, bands. Yeah, that's exactly. awesome. Local bands yeah. play. In Chattanooga, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, that's a big number. And there's always so much going on, you know, over the weekend. Yeah, too. I would have been down the street at the Looney Tunes thing with the symphony. <laughs> I hate that I missed <laughs> much for me. <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> That was great. Uh, I was at Tebow's in Cleveland for a friend's birthday party. You probably know that, right? Uh, that must be since I've lived there. Oh, it yeah. was an old Captain it's D's. It's been a long it time. An old Captain D's. Oh, an old Captain D's. <laughs> yeah. I do yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. the old Captain D's. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But I wanted to come to Road to Nightfall, too. It was one of my, my good friend's birthdays, Jesse. Happy birthday. Yeah. But and Marty Stewart was that night as well at the Walker Sold Out. Very um, cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. Good night. I love the song you just sang. What was the name of that song? Honey, you were right. That's right. How could I forget? That's <laughs> so your voice is so. She made you say that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> your well, voice well is so played. clear. Oh well, thanks. Yeah. Do yeah. you notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Can you know sometimes with musicians because uh, we have a lot of people in here. Sometimes I, I can't 
make them out, even if they have a beautiful voice, because of all the acoustics and stuff. But you could really hear hear what you were saying. Oh, well, so thank that's you. a good thing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you spend much time as much time as I do trying to work on the words, yeah, you, heard, you want everybody right? to understand them. You <laughs> I know, know, but so you know, sometimes I, I you're really like conscious oh, about that part. We've of had it. that yeah. discussion. Yeah, let, let yeah. people guess what it means. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> rather hear it. Yeah, yeah let's do another one. Okay. Because, uh, um, this one will go in a little bit different direction. Make sure I'm tuned. Nothing lasts uh, forever. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got my. Uh, here's our set list right here, <laughs> and so um, make sure everybody plugged in. All right. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> everything to last forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How it's much good. of what you guys do is uh, original? 
Uh, well, that depends on the set, but we've, we've got, uh, I'd say we've probably got 15 original songs right now that are either, we're either playing them or working them up. And, uh, but you know, if we play a set that's two hours long, then at least half of it. Yeah, or or maybe percent. even more. Maybe I'd say we could probably play straight through a close to a ninety-minute set with original music. You know, but usually with like two-hour sets, we fill in with some yeah. covers. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of stuff? We pull from. Uh, I know, I know, I know it's the Avid Brothers set. T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, We've got a David song. They'll be here. We've got September. a David song in there. We try to pick things that are uh, in the ballpark most of the time. You know, like bands that or singers that uh, we want people to compare us to. John yeah. Prine. Chris uh, Stapleton. John Prine. We do, yeah, we do a dead song. We do, I know you're right. Or dead song. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah, know you had a Garcia T-shirt on the yeah, other so night. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you right. know that uh, Avid Brother song, Ain't No Man? Mm-hmm. I love oh, yeah. that song. So one. I've seen them 15 times. Oh, I Moon love River them. will be 16. <laughs> My kids hear it a lot. I always uh, play it when I'm cooking, which is all the time. Nice. But I'm always like, Alexa, play Avid Brother. <laughs> yeah. We also try to pick some stuff outside the box, too, you know, and kind of bend it to what we do. We do a Rihanna song. Oh, cool. And, which uh, one? Um, which one is Stay, it? right? Stay. Oh, that's yeah, a great one. Stay by Rihanna. Killers, we did a killer song. Do a killer that's song. That's awesome. Oh, so, where can people hear you play live? Uh, well, uh, we played Pucket. What do we have coming up, Tony? Uh, coming up, we ha- mostly have some private events coming up, uh, especially as we're getting ready to start hopefully recording. Uh, so, we've primarily been booking that. I know in September we'll be at uh, Cambridge, Cambridge Square. Square. Okay, I need and to get a hold of them. They want to stick them out there. So hopefully an opening slot at uh, Nightfall Oh, this cool. Summer. <laughs> yep. I think we'll have some things filled so, in through the summer. How do people so find check out? Website. Check uh, the website. So foothillsband.com. Foothillsband.com. I'll link you guys yeah. to it and on my personal page too. And please like and follow us on Facebook at the Foothills Official. At the Foothills Official yep. is their yep. handle on Facebook. We have a okay. question or two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one one uh, commenter asked, when can we expect your first CD? Oh. First CD Hopefully is the question. Hopefully summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, the summer is what we're <laughs> shooting for to, to get it done. Um, that's where Road to Nightfall sort of really fit into the, the picture of our of our plans. Yeah. We, were, we were just going to see how that turned out if we did win it. And get all that money and the studio time. Oh. You know, we're ready to go. We've got we've got yeah. our twelve songs. We've got the track list out, and it's just a matter of getting it recorded. Mm-hmm. But you know, that didn't pan out, so that's okay. And so we're we're playing private events and things to try and get the capital. So people can book you through the website if mm-hmm. the, if you're available. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. cool. Because I have people asking me because of this job all the time. Like, can I book this band, or is that? like beneath them to ask I'm like no like Rihanna can be booked for like $100,000 yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right. everybody yeah. will play for a fee yeah and we, and we will too yeah. yeah but yeah on our website uh and we're very responsive through Facebook and stuff so if anybody that wants to keep track with us follow Facebook we're updating it normally a couple posts a day and then we do uh, updates to shows and stuff on our Facebook page and, and you post said videos and stuff. At the Foothills Official, is that it? Yeah, at the Foothills Official for Facebook. Okay. So, um, so if we wanted to hear any of those songs right now because they're not released, are they somewhere on the internet or some live versions? Either. Yeah, they're, they're, most of them are on are, are on the Facebook page yeah. and or YouTube. Mm-hmm. We have some. Uh, songs cool. Chad Diggle live music. Mark has okay. quite a bit of Great. stuff from yeah. us posted. Hey, it will be later today. <laughs> okay, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Was there another comment or question, Shaquem? No. No. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Okay. Um, so bury me. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> one, two, three, Now 
Thank you. Yeah, we've heard Mark Herndon. Yeah. I'm, I'm reading your comments. He's great. Yeah. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Every- <laughs> Mark. Everybody. And I think there there will be. And I'm sure there is already a lot of a lot of interest for that CD. So, yeah. Who does? Do you do all the writing? Most of the writing? You guys. I have to this point. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I've been writing for a long time, and and so that was that was really the genesis for this whole thing was uh, Vincent coming to me, and he w- he was wanting to play. And it was like, you got songs, I want to play, let's, let's start doing it. Yeah, I mean, it. he's got like, you know, what, 15 years of, of songs built up, you know, and I had I had heard a bunch of them live, and then a bunch of them on his YouTube page, and I just said, well, these songs can't just sit here like this, yeah. you know. We're bored, let's play, and let's play these songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it started off that way, and um, and I just continue to write. I've written quite a few. In fact, a couple of the songs that we played today are songs that, written since we got together you know they're just a month old so um you got like another two or three in the yeah. you know uh, the partial phase that sound really good too so. yeah so we, we're there's that uh but i'm definitely open as these guys come along with ideas and everything and trying to write together we'll just kind of see how things go i mean we've really only been together for a couple of months you know and so two months today was our last is show, that right or was our first show okay <laughs> really there you go so we've been together wow. for two months yeah. And How's it going? How's the relationship? <laughs> it's good. It's honeymoon phase. Honeymoon phase. It's, it's still hot. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> good. Let's keep uh, it there. No, I, th- I think it's nice because we all have nine to fives, and so we get to play music because we uh, enjoy it. That's like an it. outlet. And mm-hmm. it's an outlet, and it's fun. We don't have to take whatever gig or play wherever to pay our bill. So that allows it to be fun, and it not, allows us to enjoy not, playing together. Yeah, not all the sweat and yeah. tears and exactly. blood and guts. Well, yeah. it just allows you I mean, to we've say... We've all done that enough. Yeah, yeah we've all done that for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I, I've, I've found it's been so refreshing just to be able to say no every once mm-hmm. in a while. You know, it's okay, it's, and it's okay to do. And uh, so, so that's been... Nice. I got really burnt out the last yeah. time around. I, I mentioned something about retirement, and 
uh, I was like, well, if I'm coming back into this, we're doing it on our own terms, and that's what we've been trying to do, and, and we've been really fortunate so far that uh, people people seem to be enjoying it. Responsive, so. yeah. It's good to be able yeah. to pick the quality stuff as much as you can. Because, yeah, we've I right. mean, we've been do we've been through it too. I've yeah. worked myself real it, hard. It's before. interesting to hear you say that, and you to talk about the social media part of it and all that, because that's such a big change mm. on the scene. And I know. again, back to the road to nightfall and what Barrett's doing and Soundcore with Stratton is trying to get Stratton. information to guys like you. You know, you don't have to be in a band. Yeah. yeah. Five days out of the week, you can do it a different way, but you still have to work. You got to yeah. work the social media and sure regularly. Yeah. And a lot of time and effort goes into the social media elements. Uh, but I joked with them when I first came on that I'd take care of a lot of that because I'm the you know hashtag you know, millennial. millennial. Yeah. So. And you have to learn. Like people have yeah. to get on the the bus or or yeah. die. But really. it's fun. Get it's right. fun. It's a great way of connecting with people and gotten. A lot of great messages, and that way, people who have come see us have been posting pictures and videos. So, yeah. while it's a way for us to connect with people we'd love to hear our music, it's also a great way for them to connect with us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's been nice. And to this point, I'll just a final thing uh, that everybody is contributing in a variety of yeah. ways, whether it's, uh, it's really a team handling effort, yeah. uh, social media or scoring gigs or writing songs and of course everybody's contributing their, their musical talent to it but other in other ways as well yeah. and you know I've been in a lot of groups where that just wasn't the case right. you know mm -hmm. sort of like a group project in high school or something where there's one <laughs> sure, you, sure. you know so that, that makes it a lot more fun yeah everybody's bought in and trying to contribute I think also that we have you know we've, uh, we've actually just stated that you know we're not trying to fit into a certain category of music people ask ask me what what do y'all play? Are y'all bluegrass man? Because you got a fiddle, you know, the mandolin, you know. But we're definitely not bluegrass. I, I you know, I know, uh, I played bluegrass and bluegrass bands, and uh, I take, uh, you know, lessons in bluegrass fiddle and stuff like that. But uh, we're not a bluegrass band, but we're not a rock and roll band, and we're not a country really a country band, band. Yeah. and and none of us have uh, set any guidelines. You know, if there's something that's an interesting musical idea, we're We'll totally open to yeah. trying it out. It's you know, funny you so. say that because while y'all were playing, I'm always uh, sharing to all of our other pages. Chattanooga Now is our entertainment page and yeah. my page. And I said they're like, I said they have an Avid Brothers feel, but it's their own their own deal or something like that. We'll take yeah. that. We'll yeah. yeah. take that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys like and share. That's how it gets spread. Exactly. Facebook is a crazy beast, and they're changing like their algorithms all the time mm -hmm. to force people to like and share to be exposed to things. Whereas it first started, uh, a lot more showed up on your news feed, yeah. but now they've made it to where it's not going to show up mm -hmm. for you unless you work for it. Yeah. So like and share. Thank you. All right, Paul, what's last on the wrist there? Last on the wrist today is last the song the that wrist. we closed the Road to Nightfall finals with. It's called Come Alive Again. All right. <coughs> thank you all so again. much for coming in and doing this. Thanks yeah. for having thank us. It's a blast. Yeah, it's been a lot of yeah. fun. And really thanks cool. to uh, the kids for behaving. <laughs> Clark is helping Shakim. Sophie, right? Is it yes. Sophie? <laughs> Do you want to come say something? You want to talk about your dad real quick? <laughs> They're good kids. Yeah. They're good kids. We got a couple more of them out, yeah, outside. Yeah, we have some even younger ones. Oh, okay, out cool. There, so okay. Like, yes. Well, thank, thank you for, for being Thanks here. Thanks to the library again. Yeah. Thanks to Tyler and Elizabeth and Rashawn in there. Yeah. Thank everybody. Okay. Yeah. Come alive again, right? You ready? Yeah, okay. come alive I'm ready, again. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs>
Every time you think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. You guys Tony, are good. Tony, Paul, Vincent, Foothills. Lots Foothills. of energy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks Thank for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. It was fun. I we love looking at all the instruments, fun. too. They're so beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Too. Well, I want to see you guys play, and I want to I want to hear more, and I'm sure you guys do. So we'll keep track. Bar- Barry will keep oh. track. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Yeah, Thank thanks. You yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Okay. Thank you guys for coming in. Bye. Appreciate Happy it. hump day. Have a good spring break with all your kids. Okay. Bye.